Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of basic addition and subtraction facts and how we can get to a level of automaticity with them and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's look at this first big word down here. Automaticity. You see it has the word automatic. That means when we're talking about basic facts like let's say 9 plus 7 or maybe 13 minus 8. Those should be basic facts that we know automatically or with automaticity rather than counting on or using our fingers. We need to have these facts memorized. But the best way to do that is not just to practice with minute drills or with flashcards though that can help. The best way to do it is to use some strategies and to use them so often they just become really quick in your brain. So let's start with a very, very important strategy called make a 10. So when we're looking at, let's look at addition first. So when we are looking at addition, anytime you can get to a 10, things get really easy. I'm going to take this 9 plus 7 and I'll show the make it 10 over here. So when we're thinking of 9 plus 7, you're going to take your first add in 9. And then you're going to break the second add end into two numbers. You're going to decompose it in your brain into two numbers that make 7. But you're going to keep in the back of your brain, how far away from 10 am I if I start with 9? Well, you know that if you start at 9, you're only 1 away from 10. So you're going to break this into 9 plus 1. And then you're going to do, it's a plus 6. Because 1 plus 6 makes 7. And 9 plus 1 makes 10. Now how does that help you? Well, when you're thinking 9 plus 7, you think of 9 plus 1 plus 6. And you can add these two right here. That's 10. And then add that 6 back in here. And then adding 10 plus a single digit number is pretty easy because you're just going to have a 1 in the 10's place and then that single digit number in the 1's place. So that's making a 10. Let's look at another example of making a 10, this time with subtraction. We can do it over here. And so 13 minus 8. So you'll be thinking, how far away is this from 10? Uh, we should know that... 13 minus 3 would make 10. So 8 is going to be 3 plus 5. So I'm going to subtract these two right here. 13 minus 3, well that's going to be 10. And then I just need to subtract this other 5 that was right here. So if I take away 5, well I know what my 10s are, so that's going to be easy. That's going to be 5. So that's making a 10 with addition and subtraction. Let's look at another strategy. Our next strategy is called doubles and near doubles. And just like making a 10, it might seem a little bit slow at first, but if you do it again and again and again, you get so fast, you will become automatic. So doubles and near doubles builds on the fact that we're very good with knowing our doubles facts. So if I were to think, well, what is eight plus eight? Most of us can remember doubles pretty easily. 8 plus 8 is 16. And if you think about it, this second addend is only one more than 8. So if 8 plus 8 is 16, I could think, well, 8 plus this 9 is going to be one more because 9 is just one more than 8. So it's going to be 17. So think of a double, and if it's a near double, then you can just add an extra 1 or 2 if your second addend is just one or two more than the doubles. Same with this down here. This is another near doubles. But in this case, I'm going to think, I'm going to change this to a 5. I'm going to say 5 plus 5. That's an easy 10. Then i got to think, well, this 7 is 2 more than 5. So I need to add 2. So I'm going to take my 10, and I'm going to make it a 12. And to double check, let's just use our make a 10. So 8 plus 2 makes 10. And that's going to be 7 more, so that's 10. That's 17, so that checks out. And then 7 plus 3 makes 10. Add that 2 is going to make an extra 5, so that's going to be 12. 